In Milwaukee tonight, police have a man in custody in the high profile murder of a beloved barber. Michelle Fiore joins us live at the police administration building downtown. Michelle, what do you know? Mike, tomorrow marks two weeks since the man affectionately known as Jade Barber was killed outside his workplace. Jail records show that the man police believe did it has been in custody since Monday. Fade Lounge is still closed after the horrific July 1st death of the owner. Friends of Yosef Tim's, better known as Jay, let us in. This was his workstation. He's like a son to me, and this is very devastating because it's like losing a son. Outside the barber shop, a small vigil remains. Police said the shooting in broad daylight near Center and Holton happened after an argument. Travis Clark says they're learning it was over a video game. A 2K was the, his game, you know, he couldn't, you know, he felt that he was too short to go to the NBA. And so therefore, you know, he, and he became good, you know, be, be very good, you know, talk a lot of crap. Clark was told Jay knew the guy came looking for a fight. He says Jay took off his shirt expecting to duke it out. What he didn't expect was that someone had a gun. So we, we want to make sure that we use this opportunity to make families aware of this situation of video games. Clark's in close contact with Jay's fiance, who's four months pregnant, with the daughter this beloved barber will never get to meet. He last saw Jay at a Bucks playoff game. When we talked and we was at Scott Ball, he was so happy about that he was going to be a father. He was so happy that business was doing good. Um, he, he, things was going in the right direction. Jay's friend at the barbershop tells us it's going to be at least a month before they can try to pick up the pieces and reopen. The police, uh, man, the man that police have in custody has not yet been charged. Reporting live outside the police administration building, I'm Michelle Fiore, CBS 58 News. Very good, Michelle.